You know, I keep talking about this a lot, but this FRS is still not cut up yet. And uh, to get this kit started, we gotta do that. Let's knock it out. Picking up from where we started off last time, as you can see, we still have all the tapping screws in the car. We're gonna get all of that taken care of, pull those out. That's gonna give us a nice line to where we know where to cut. I'm gonna go ahead and get my circle blade out of my toolbox, go ahead and get that cut up. I'm gonna show you guys the whole process of what we're gonna be doing. So just start off with the back quarter panel. There's two layers to this quarter panel. So once we pull this off, we're gonna cut the first layer off, then we're gonna cut slots into the second layer, and then have to weld that up. We're gonna do that tomorrow. The front fenders are gonna be pretty easy. There's no like two layers, just one layer. Just cut all that behind the line, make sure we have enough room to be able to fit these wheels they have coming in. By the way, I did order wheels. Stay tuned for that. I think you guys are gonna be a big fan of these. They're actually, I've never seen an FRS that has these wheels on them, so I'm pretty excited to be one of the first ones. It, it may be another one, but I'm gonna be one of the first ones that have this here in the United States. Stay tuned for that. We're okay, that was not good. Holy crap. So since we were discussing about the uh, wheels we have coming, I have some Federal 595. These fronts are gonna be 225, 35, 18s. Um, I love these tires. I always have ran them on all my cars. They're great for stretching. So good job for Federal. Always keeping hooked up with low prices. And for the rears, we picked up some 275, 35, 18, 595. That is some girth. That is my hand fully stretched. And I got a, I got a pretty good size hand here. And that is some major girth. Comparing to the fronts, I can pretty much, I'm gonna stretch all the way around, but the fronts have a way bigger stretch than the rear do. Just to kind of give you a heads up, the rears are going to be 18 by 13s. The fronts are going to be an 18 by 11. I'm so excited to show you guys what I have coming. It's such a cool wheel. The next step is going to be taking painter's tape and going over and putting it all over the quarter panel. We already have each hole individually drilled, so we know about where we need to be cutting. If I'm gonna guess, just to play it safe, we'll probably cut up to about like right here. I know you have like this little fender, but fender line part right here, uh, but we're gonna cut up to about right here to make sure we have enough clearance for these new wheels that are coming. So whenever we put this kit on, uh, we won't have any kind of issues or anything with rubbing because we know we just cut off way too much, and I'd rather be safe than sorry on this one. So we'll get started on this. So I kind of messed up whenever I was speaking to you last time. Um, I shouldn't have went and taped this part of the core panel off because it's connected to the bumper. I have to take this bumper off because the back piece of this kit goes all the way down to the bottom of the bumper. As you can see, there's some light scratches and stuff and we have to do some kind of shaving on the kit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take the bumper off and let me go ahead and knock that out real quick. Okay, we got that off. So now you can clearly see a good line of where the bumper tabs meet with the quarter panel so we can draw up the line as to where we need to cut and get started on cutting this little sucker up. So we have our lines drawn up. I was gonna do this bottom line, but I think we're gonna end up cutting this one just to play it safe. It's gonna be a lot higher up. Uh, the holes to, that we drilled into the kit are right here. So we still have quite a lot of room, probably about three inches or so. Um, so we should be good to go for that. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting. Just a reminder, Nick, do we have any idea like what we're doing? I think we've, we've cut up cars before, but we've never cut up an FRS and we've kind of made well, Nick has made his own kit for his Civic and my old Lexus, if you followed me for a second, that had Datsun 280Z flares. Those weren't even made for this car, my Lexus at all. So this is the first kit that I've owned that is actually made for a car. And we again have no idea what we're doing. So let's go ahead and send it, dude. Send it. Woo!
So we got everything all cut up and smoothed out. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is go back in. In this second area right here, go ahead and cut the slits and so we can go ahead and bend these back up to be able to weld for tomorrow. Let's get started. It is so humid out here in Florida and it's so hot, but we're getting anything done. We have got everything pretty much cut up. This looks really wonky. I have to go ahead and grind down this paint because we're gonna weld these up. And of course you can't weld unless there's a solid metal, metal contact here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and grind all this paint off. And I'll go ahead and show you guys when I'm done. Okay, so here's the final pieces. So tomorrow what I'll do is basically take a flap right here and then up in this area, be able to weld them two together and then cut off the excess and smooth it all down to make it all nice and flat. Uh, it looks really wonky right now. So it's gonna be kind of weird driving to my buddy David's house tomorrow and people are gonna be like, what the heck? But I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other side. There's really no reason to show you the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna pick you guys up whenever I'm ready to start on the fenders and get that squared away. Backside is all finished now and ready for that. Excuse me, sir. I don't know if you realize, but I'm uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to film here. Bro, uh, we have 50 days till SEMA. Okay, we gotta get this done. Sight, we're going to SEMA. Oh. So Nick is starting the cutting for the front fender. Nick, what's your game plan for this? Follow the lines. It's like when you were a kid and you have to like stay inside the lines. Yeah, I wasn't really good at that. I was hoping you were gonna say like slice and dice. Cause that's what we do here. <laughs> that's what we do. And at his chop shop, cut it up. We slice and dice. Can you hit that one more time for me? Hit it. Oh, hit him with it. Oh, hit him with it. Hey, okay, okay, let's go. All right, hopefully that'll break. It's gonna pop and hit you in the face, dude. <laughs> Dang, that's a clean cut. do some more cutting up here. All right, so just got finished with this side. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. This is way easier than the rear is because there's no like inner fender to worry about and it's super thin metal. So basically you just want to trace out where you're going to cut and make sure that you don't cut too much off. Follow the lines, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. And then the only thing really that you need to be concerned about up here, the, uh, the harness for the turn signal, which is going to be deleted from the kit, but would rather not cut that if possible we can save it and if we ever want to utilize it later we can and then this uh this bracket here for the headlights just be sure not to cut too far into that because there's uh mounting points that you need to worry about uh we're probably just going to cut this corner off just to clean it up and so that doesn't cut into the tire or anything but this shouldn't be in the way and we'd rather keep it to get rid of it so um if it's an issue later we'll deal with it but should be good for now so front fender is now finished up we are good for the night Nick, you, uh, you okay, buddy? I'm beat. Hey. I just kidding, that was pretty easy. Heck yeah, <laughs> appreciate your help, dude. Car's sure. looking good. We are gonna go ahead and head over to David's house tomorrow. We're gonna go to church in the morning, then after that, go ahead and head over there and start welding these up. So I will catch you guys then. Picking up uh, from where we started off yesterday, this thing is looking absolutely ridiculous. Um, I just ran over to Harbor Freight to go ahead and get us some stuff from welding. Let's go ahead and fix these quarter panels because this thing looks like complete crap. I wanted to talk to you guys for a second just kind of show you what I have in my mind while I have a second to drive here. But the reason why I started vlogging is because I watch a lot of YouTube vloggers every day and I see what they're able to accomplish and it influences me and makes me want to be able to achieve that and do what exactly what they do and wake up every single day and go and build their own cars and their own shops and it really just inspires me to be able to do what I want to be able to do. Whenever I was 17, uh, 16 years old, somewhere in that range, my dad always told me, son, you have a pretty good eye for modifying cars and you can make stuff clean and, and do all this custom work yourself. And, and a lot of people would like to see that and I can make some pretty informative videos. But I, I never really got around to it because I didn't really own a camera at the time and YouTube wasn't much of a thing six or seven years ago. I regret not picking up a camera and starting off like whenever YouTube started picking up because um, I feel like I definitely 
could have made a, a bigger influence as to uh, where I'm at now. I, again, it's not trying to follow a trend here. It's something that I'm really passionate about and I love filming and I love being able to edit stuff and make instructional videos. So it, overall, what I wanna do with this is I would love to be able to make merchandise, sell it to you guys, have the support there to show what I'm passionate about and have you guys wear my shirts or put a decal on your car or you know have some kind of banner or whatever we come up with in the near future. I would love to have your support and of course if you support me then I would love a subscribe or a like or some kind of comment some kind of influence back or whatever you have on your mind and you want to tell me I'm down for that and like any kind of um, criticism or anything you have towards my videos I would love to hear because I'm starting off now so as a beginning youtuber i want to hear what my critics and my viewers have to say about everything we're heading to david's now we're not too too far out um i keep saying that but yeah i just wanted to just touch base with you on this and see what you guys think and let you know why i'm doing this thank you guys for listening to me event for just a second all the surfaces are all cleaned up now and the metal is pretty bare so it should be good to go ahead and start getting this thing welded i've never welded before as always nick and i have no idea what we're doing but uh we're, we're, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna, send it. We're gonna make this thing work somehow, so let's get started. We are still welding. We've been at it for a hot second. We're we're pretty bad at it, but we're getting the hang of it, slowly but surely. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's gonna get the job done, plus we're still still gonna grind it down a bit. Yeah, once we, once we grind it down, we'll cut all the flaps off, and then basically just take all these slices, cut them off, take this, uh, this kind of flex seal material, or like, uh, a sealant like a silicone sealant and then seal all of this so it's all nice and you won't be able to see any of that and it should be come out really good okay so just showing you guys mainly the the finished product here this is a seal uh, it's gonna take about 24 hours for it to finally harden and probably get completely full welding is definitely not our masterpiece at all but at least we got the main part to go ahead and get squared away uh, and it's all looking good here again if you have not already smash the like button thank you guys so much for tuning into today's episode it means so much to me go ahead and click the subscribe click the like button and go ahead and comment below what you guys think of today's video we will catch you guys on the next one